And then, then the Great Recession happened. And at that point, many companies had to really evaluate where they, where they were and how they're going to proceed. Uh, unfortunately, many of those companies are no longer with us. It was quite a challenge. I know we went from uh, at our plant in here in Largo to uh, approximately 300 people down to uh, 1.33 people. Um, those were tough times for all boat builders, but sailboat builders especially. Uh, our our plan was to to uh, well do what every every business does. I mean, the first business of every business is to stay in business, and uh, I'm we're all proud of the fact that we were the only sailboat builder in the United States that stayed continuously in production throughout the recession years. Uh, we didn't close for one day. Um, we, wanted, we knew if we didn't keep our core people, so all of our supervisors became you know, people that worked on the line. We all did what we had to do to keep the thing going. I mean, some of us, you know, clean the kitchen and the bathroom at the shop because that's what you need to do to keep, keep things together, but we just wanted to keep the plant together. And we did that. California cut down to a skeleton crew in the office there, and we did the same thing here. But we knew that that wasn't going to be enough. We had to really have a new approach to come out of the recession. And we were confident that would happen, but what was going to be our strategy to do that? So we did a pretty careful analysis of where the market was, and looked at all the builders, some successful, some not, and determined what the best course forward was. Well, a couple of things we, we learned early on. One, there were going to be fewer customers. Sailboat builders just tend to be very conservative with their money, and they spend it very carefully, which I think is a good thing, and they really want to know what they're buying. Uh, also, we knew there we were going to have a more educated market coming out of the recession. People really knew the difference between um, a sailboat that was designed for the real world versus versus one that was designed to you know, be flashy at the boat show. Um, so we looked at all those elements, tried to identify what, what they were. And that's the genesis of the five series. Uh, we want to basically reinvent the company product line. With the exception of the 22 and a couple of dinghies, we're not building any boat that was in production before 2008. So we really took that time to build one boat that we thought embodied all the five series features, all that we're calling the five series, to take us out of the recession and present the company to this more mature, knowledgeable market. Um, primary among the features we wanted to incorporate were great, greater safety features, because I think safety features, not just being great sales points, but are also important if you spend time on your boat. 